Bestbookbits.com brings you five-minute books. Today, we're going through the great sales book by Jack Collis. People do business with people. Successful selling is essentially a matter of being a first-class communicator. Perception is a critical issue in every sales presentation. What we think is what we get, so be sure that what you are thinking is positive and reflects your current aspirations. Life is like an ice cream cone. You either lick it or it drops on your shoes. The communication method is a technology by which you make the offer. The sale will be made or lost on human emotion. Success seems to be largely a matter of hanging on after others have let go. Ask more people to buy whatever you sell. Now this summary is made possible by the best book bits community that don't just consume educational content passively, but take an active role in taking their life, business, and goals to the next level. They realize that the real enemy is their inner me. Get yourself out of your way and let me coach you on achieving that next breakthrough in your life, business, health, and goals. Click the link below to book a free chat and come say hi. The more you want, the more it costs. Success is limited by the price you are willing to pay. All of life is a compromise. Trading off one aspiration against another is a reflection of our willingness to pay a particular price. Without prospects, a salesperson has no business. The basic decision about preparation and planning is one of the most critical decisions you will make in your selling career. The goal of the modern salesperson is to reach agreement rather than overcome objections. Know your sales story word perfect. Make it about life, not product, and tell it with conviction. The more emotion the story has, the more impact it will have, and the more success you will enjoy. Selling is the art of persuading your prospects to buy your solutions to their problems and wants. Too many sales are lost because of poor presentation. If you're not ready to sell, your prospects won't be ready to buy. Preparation is a reality of human experience. If your prospects perceive you to be no different from the other salespeople they deal with, then you aren't. To deal effectively with objections, it is essential that you don't fear them. The key issue is always to preserve the relationship. More than 70% of all sales are made on emotional issues. Current research says that the value for money is the biggest single issue for the majority of people in most purchases today. There are only two reasons why people buy. Number one, to solve a problem. Number two, to make themselves feel good. Nothing happens until someone buys something. Many do not buy because they're not asked to. There is a time to talk, a time to listen, and a time to close. The customer is saying no to our products, service, or ideas, not to us as a person. Very few of us want to be sold, but almost all of us want to be a buyer. To justify buying, we need reasons to buy. Always act as if what is happening is normal. Building relationships is always the key issue. It is true that the body acts out what the mind is thinking. Customers are not an option, they are a necessity. When you're interested in others, they will be interested in you. To succeed, all you have to do is make someone like you. Imagination is one of the last remaining legal means you have to gain an unfair advantage over your competition. Always be hard on the problem, but soft on the people. What if in? One of the most powerful methods of solving any problem is the what if. What if? A man or woman at work or a dollar at work are the only real options we have in terms of creating wealth. The best salesperson is the one who does the most listening as opposed to the most talking. We are a total mental creatures and selling is a total mental function. Sales are made in the mind. You are as rich as you are now because of the way you have used your thoughts in the past. Ratios and statistics are your master. They are your slave. Wealth is a good servant, but a very bad mistress. Personal freedom is an objective. The first principle of wealth creation is improve your abilities so that you'll be paid more. The second principle in wealth creation is pay yourself first. Too few people reach total financial independence, not because they don't earn the money, but because they don't have a plan for creating wealth. And last, 
The real reason that much of our wealth escapes us is that we rarely take the time to think the whole matter through and establish plans and priorities for creating wealth in our life. Now, to wrap up in this book summary, if you want the long version summary, click the link below to download this. Now, this summary is made possible by the best BookBits community that don't just consume educational content passively, but take an active role in taking their life, business, and goals to that next level. They realize that their real enemy is their inner me. Get yourself out of your way and let me coach you on achieving that next breakthrough in your life, business, health, and goals. Click the link below for a free chat now and come say hi. Thanks for watching and listening. Take care. Bye-bye now.